So what we have here is half of a beef carcass. Uh, after slaughter, in the slaughter process, we split a beef carcass in half so it chills down quicker and then it's easier to handle. So we have one half of a carcass. The carcass then is split into half again and so we have quarters. We have a hind quarter and a fore quarter. Uh, and so see, so we have half of a half. So I'm gonna start at the top of the carcass would actually be the back of the animal. So up the, the top, that would be the, the back leg of the animal and the very top of that would be called the shank or the hind shank. Uh, the large uh, parts, piece of the carcass just underneath that is called the round. And from the round, we get a lot of roasts or uh, round steaks and things like that. Um, this part right here then is the start or from here to here is called the loin. Um, and the loin actually has two parts. This is the sirloin, where we get our sirloin steaks. And then this is the short loin. And we can do one of two things with this. We can get strip steaks, like New York strip or Kansas City strip steaks, or we can get T-bones and porterhouse steaks. Uh, and the way we get uh, those two cuts is the tenderloin is hidden under here. Underneath, this is the, the internal fat. So the, the tenderloin starts up here and it runs all the way down and gets smaller as it comes forward. Um, we can pull that tenderloin out and get filet mignon, or we can leave it in and then cut T-bones and porterhouses. So you can't get both uh, tenderloins or filet mignons and T-bones out of the same side of a beef. Uh, you have to choose one or the other. Um, in addition, as we work our way down, we have this portion right here, which is the flank. Now out of the flank, we get the flank steak, uh, would be the common cut, and then a lot of trimmings come out of here that would go into ground beef production. At that point, then we've moved from the hind quarter into the fore quarter. A couple things to, to show you in the fore quarter. Uh, right here, we have the skirt steak. Um, so this is our fajita meat, our very traditional fajita meat. The portion from here to here is called the, the rib. And this is our ribeye steaks or prime rib come from this location right here. Now, we'll cut through the actual beef ribs right here. And when we take this portion of the ribs off, this is called our beef back ribs. And then short ribs are the rest portion of the portion of the beef. So where we move the rib, this portion here is called the plate. The plate is almost exclusively used for trimmings uh, and ends up in ground beef or, or other uh, uh, Processes, uh, processed beef products. Um, the rib then ends about here, and there's two cuts still left. The chuck, which is this portion, uh, and the brisket, which is down here, and then the foreshank. Um, the chuck then would be commonly used for our chuck roast, uh, some ends up in ground beef, or we can get some chuck steaks, um, as well as uh, what's called arm steaks. And everybody, if you're familiar, the, the um, flat iron steak actually comes from right through here as well. So if you've heard of the flat iron steak, that's from this part. There's two parts, the chuck, the chuck roll, and then the clod, which has the flat iron. Um, the other part here then is the shank, which is gonna end up almost exclusively in trimmings, with the odd exception of the, the cross gun shank or the osso buckle uh, from beef. Uh, and then this is the brisket, which of course is, uh, for the most part, gonna end up in barbecued for smoked brisket. Uh, as well. And then the last part is, is the neck portion, which uh, is going to be taken apart and the lean is going to be used for, for ground beef or lean trimmings. That's about the whole carcass.